Gabriel Nan, and we're in a chocolate factory in Kings Inn Street, uh, where we built over the last nine months. We've built what we call a denim studio. Our company is called John Ireland and Sons, but our brand that we produce here is Native Denims. We're the only producer of jeans in Dublin, Ireland, and we basically make everything here. Hi, my name is Susan Owens and I am the Master Seamstress at Native Denims. It was a dream to bring this industry back into the city and I mean it's over 20 years now since all of the clothing industry went but it's great to see it now that you know in 2019 we have a denim studio back in the city again. Well in fact we, we had the idea of, of, um, of setting up a jeans factory for, for quite a number of years and so we've been sourcing machinery and that sort of thing. Our partner Steve, he actually found uh, the chocolate factory and then this floor up here on the third floor that we are in here was completely empty. There are a few different options with denims here. People can come in and buy a stock jean um, but they can also come in with their favourite pair of jeans that they just can't find that fit anywhere and I will take a block from that and make the jeans for them. But they can also personalise their jeans by using a shirt that they love and I'll recycle that and put it inside, inside the jeans for them. I can actually just show you um, an example. So rather than just have the plain denim on the inside, a shirt can be used and it can be faced on the back and the pockets on the inside. So it just means that you don't have to throw out your shirt. It can go back into your own pair, customised pair of jeans. My role, I'm, funnily enough, my role is more the finance aspect of everything, uh, but I do come in and give Susan a hand on cutting and a few things like that, uh, which, I'm all, which I'm actually learning, I must admit. We put up all these walls, built everything, the cutting tables, the machines have been sourced over the last three and a half years. In the factories going back to when I first started sewing, they, they were just production lines. So most girls went in and they sat at a machine for eight hours and did the same job over and over again. Where with this I get to do a pair of jeans from start to finish and I'm moving around from the different machines which is, it's brilliant. What we've done here at Native Denims is taken the best from all of the good brands in denim and put them into ours. So what we've come up with is um, binding on all of our seams so there's no overlocking at all. Um, no raw, raw edges, it's binding, um, a one-piece fly rather than the two-piece fly and on the inside we have a run and fell stitch so it's like a chain stitch on the inside and a flat stitch on the outside so it's as clean on the inside as it is on the outside. Fast fashion is what these, how these jeans were made. So you can see on the inside there's a two-piece fly, all of this overlock on edge it's all, it's very dirty looking. Fast fashion is what's been taken over the world recently and it means that clothes have been mass produced. What we have here is we've actually got four pairs of jeans ready to cut out. Going over and cutting out the pockets. And then each set of jeans goes into a tube here which, pass, which you can pass over to Sue, and that is the complete contents of a size 38 regular.
So in here is all of the pieces that are needed to make up one pair of jeans. So we'll ro roll it out and we have everything that we need there. So the first thing that's done on it is done on the flat machine. So there would be the back pockets, the coin pocket and the front pockets. So all of that is done here first. So I'll just give you a little demo. All of the machines you see here today are what you need to make a full pair of jeans. And um, they're all the traditional machines going back to when denims were first manufactured. So I think I, for any one pair of jeans, there are eight different machines that it takes to make them. This is the waistband machine and it puts the waistband on the jeans in one go. And then there's just a little bit of finishing that has to be done on the flat machine. Like everyone has a favourite machine that happens to be my one. Um, I just think it's absolutely the, it's just the folders on it, the way you can turn the fabric in. That would have been a process that would have taken three times the amount of time to do just on a, on a regular flat machine. Where I grew up in the city, um, for my generation, if you didn't have, have the opportunity to go to college or stay on in school, um, it was either go to a sewing factory or learn to be a, a secretary. But I'm absolutely, I, I'm delighted that this was the route I took um, because of the skill that, you know, I've never been away from the machine for all, all of my working life um, because it's something that I could do even when my children were small. I could work from home, so it's a skill that we can't let die in this country, I think. I think we need to teach the next generation how it's done. There's nothing in here that's got, got any chemicals. There's no chemical dyes, there's no, nothing in them. And, uh, and that's, that's, you know, that's going to be part of our whole selling point. So then we've cut our leather patch and uh, we've got this press made up. Uh, essentially then what we do is we can literally slide in our pre-cut patch, as I said, whatever colour we like. And then we literally just put a bit of pressure on, down like that. And then out comes our patch with a native there. The reason the native is low there is because if you're, if you're wearing jeans, that the belt will actually cover the upper part of the, of the, uh, of the patch. So you literally have the native looking out down below. And, uh, and that's, um, that's really our patch. It's just unique for Dublin. There's just nobody making uh, jeans. You can, you, we all know you can get bespoke shirts, bespoke suits, bespoke socks, whatever, but you can't get bespoke jeans. And, I mean, Dublin is on such a, a rise and the amount of new and international blood that's coming into the, uh, into the city. I mean, we're, we're all seeing the city change so fast. This is part of the change. Once we um, officially launch and really get going with the jeans, we are the then going to move on to jackets and probably denim shorts. So yeah, there's a whole huge market um, that we want to get involved in.